Hey, how we doing folks? Mitch here with another Logic Pro X, Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the strip silence function. If you are coming from Logic Pro 9, now here in X, it's a little bit hidden. So we want to investigate where that is. And if you are not coming from Logic Pro 9 and you have no idea what this is, I want to show you this awesome function here inside of Logic. So let's begin. First of all, for all you uh, Logic Pro 9 users, let's just find out where this is located. If we go over here and select the toolbar, we can right click, customize toolbar, and you can insert it here uh, into the, that bar. And if you just select it, it will be in this drop down over here to the right. But if you want it to come up as an icon, uh, just go in and remove anything. I'll just remove insert silence and it'll come up over here as an icon. So there you are for those of you who want to know that. For those of you who know, want to know what this is, let's take a look at this audio file down here first. You can see that there is a lot of dead space before and after, but is it really dead space? There's a lot going on in that time. So let's listen to, let's crank up this volume and listen to what's in that dead space. So there's a lot going on, right? There's uh, static. That just could be from the microphone, the interface, the cords. Uh, there's the sound of the track, which be, could be bleeding through from his headphones. Uh, and you can also hear him moving around in front of the microphone. So there's a lot of stuff going there, and it's all being picked up. Once you start compressing, adding gain to this, that could become very noticeable, and you don't want that to become noticeable. So what the strip silence does is it gets rid of that dead space, so that's truly dead space. So what we can do is make sure to select your track, and then... Uh, just choose the strip silence function and this pop-up comes up. Now there are four different things we can choose, four different values and then also a zero, zero crossing uh, checkbox and make sure just to always check that. Uh, so the threshold obviously is just a cutoff. Anything above it is going to be accepted and is going to be in the new regions that are going to be created. Anything below is potentially something that should be cut off. And then the minimum time to accept a silence is obviously exactly what it means. Uh, so if I decrease this, we're going to start getting a lot of little teeny cuts inside of our regions, and we don't want that. You want it at least a little bit here, and I had it at 6 because uh, it created two major regions for me, and that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, and then the pre-attack time is going to be increasing or decreasing the initial fade in to those regions I guess is what you can say uh, so if I increase it you can see that it's increasing the uh, beginning of our regions and then if I increase the post you guessed it it's going to be increasing the end of it uh, so let's just drop this back down to the settings that I had and let's hit accept oh, actually first zero crossing zero crossing just makes it so that we are not ever going to be cutting these regions at places where it's going to clip or it's going to sound like there's a pop or snap uh, when it cuts so make sure to always have this zero crossing checked so when you once you press OK it'll chop the uh, audio file up into these regions and let's just hear what it sounds like now you are the reason why you, you Okay, so where he's not singing is going to be cutting out and creating true dead space. Uh, so this is a very, very handy function for those of you who are just getting into Logic Pro X or just have never done it in Logic Pro 9. So everyone, thanks for watching. I am going to be taking tutorials from the survey down in the description below. So go check it out and fill it out. What up? So now, comment, rate, right, subscribe like a freaking boss if you like this. And I'll be seeing you all very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.